What's really good, YouTube? My name is District One, and this is the inaugural episode of Sneaker Versus. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell for any updates. Today, I'll be putting two work boot style shoes head to head to see who comes out on top. We have the Nike SB Passport work boot going up against the ALD 993 Broccoli Beefs. The Dunk High's official colorway is carbon green and cinderweed gold. It's an official collaboration between Passport, which is a Sydney Australian skate retailer, and Nike SB, and it retails for $120. It's likely inspired by the national parks that surround Sydney, Australia, which is the location of Passport. On the other hand, for the 993s, the official colorway is brown and green. It's an official collaboration between Ame Leon Dor and New Balance. It retails for 200 bucks and it's heavily inspired by the Timberland broccoli beef work boot that is prevalent in New York street culture and street style. In terms of my copying experience, I'm 100% manual gang. So I entered the raffle for my local skate shop, which is Deluxe SF, so shout out to those guys. Well, actually, my girlfriend won and she got the dub and I'm just riding the coattails there. But um, that's how I got this and we just got lucky. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna release these on Sneakers app. I haven't seen Sneakers app release any dunks this year on the app, so we'll see. In terms of the 993s, I won the raffle on the ALD website. It was released at the same time as the Taupe 993s. I personally think these are way doper compared to the Taupes, but to each their own. And I got it from the first wave of the release. And so what I heard was a lot of people who wanted them got them. So I'm one of them who wanted them. So I'm lucky there too. So for the Passport Dunk Highs, the January 2020 era Nike SB Rainbow Box is what you get. The ALD 993s on the other hand feature a fully custom box with a shade of green that reflects their green hits on the shoe. The top includes ALD branding as well as a stripped down minimalist branding on the sides. Starting with the toe boxes, for the Dunk High it features an autumnal brown orange canvas on the toe box. With a lack of perforations here, traditionally from an SB Dunk, I'm pretty curious on how this shoe will ventilate. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this shaggy olive suede. Now for the 993, we have a very nice brown mesh on the toe box area. Also in the toe box area, we have some reflective green 3M hits, a reflective black 3M hit, and then surrounding the toe box, we have a high quality pigskin suede in a lighter shade of brown. So moving to the lateral sides of the shoes and back to the dunk high, on the mid panel, again, we see the same canvas material that's used on the toe box. Stitched on top, we see a brown tumbled leather swoosh, and closer to the back of the lateral side is a remix of the Passport Working Man logo with using the Nike swoosh as a shovel. Lastly, we see brass D-ring eyelets on the upper flaps. For the 993s, we see the rich brown pigskin suede throughout the majority of the panels of the shoe. You see the end center logo in green with a black outline. There's also a TPU lace eyelet stitched into the shoe with an N also present there. As we progress to the heel portion, you'll see a 993 embossed in silver. So on the back of the dunk, here we see the canvas material again, along with the shaggy olive suede on the bottom of the back heel. You can see here, the longer pull tab is unique with Passport's original graphics woven throughout, and some contrast stitching is present in Olive again, going up to the pull tab. On the flip side, the 993s boast a translucent New Balance heel clip with New Balance branding on the inside. Transitioning towards the ankle area, there's more of that brown suede, ALD branding in the cutout, and 3M black and green detailing. On the dunk, it's very similar to the lateral side with olive suede panels, that light brown canvas, as well as the leather brown swoosh. So for the 993s, we also have very similar detailing as the lateral side. 
So for the passport dunks, they come with rope style multicolor laces. The default laces are predominantly a mix of light and dark browns. And the two additional alternate laces are predominantly brown and predominantly olive green. The 993s come with the default black laces, a set of brown laces, and a set of multicolor laces. These multicolor laces give the shoe a new dimension. I believe this is what I'll go with. The Dunks Tongue continues the trend of the brown canvas material and extends to a unique leather panel with both Passport and Nike SB branding. Topping it off, there's a woven pull tab similar to the back side of the shoe. This should help in donning the shoe since the shoe is much more sturdy than other Nike SB Dunk highs. The 993's tongue continues the presence of the rich brown mesh, a 3M green panel with New Balance Made in USA embroidered on top, as well as a cutout revealing 993 branding. The dunk inner collar is a similar olive green tone to the shaggy suede overlays. The insole boasts the Working Man logo on one foot and Passport logo on the other. For the 993's inner collar, it's a standard cotton black layer, as well as an insole with a panel of stitched fabric, calling out Ame Leon Dor. The upper of these dunks sit on top of a black colored midsole. It's accented with this brown colored contrast stitching, similar to the canvas uppers. The 993's come with an all black midsole. This is such a contentious debate in the New Balance community when it first came out, because some said it would be better for white midsole, but personally, I heavily disagree. On the Dunks bottom, there lies a marbled gum outsole. Note that there's an exposed foam in the middle with Nike SB branding that's color matched with the rest of the shoe. For the 993 outsole, on the other hand, it's fully blacked out, simple and clean. In terms of the fit for the Dunks, I usually go two to size. But for the 993, I usually go down a half size down for my true size. And in terms of craftsmanship, I gotta say, New Balance, you keep outdoing yourselves. This craftsmanship is immaculate. Whereas for these dumps, I notice a little bit of a glue stain between the midsole going into the leather panel that surrounds the toe box. So my overall thoughts between both of these shoes, you know, why am I comparing both of them? I think it's because the overall work boot style aesthetic is very in style right now. I mean, you can see two different brands, New Balance and Nike, trying to incorporate that aesthetic into two different types of models. I would say if you'd want to go with something a little bit more work boot-esque, I would say go with the Nike Dunk High. I mean, it is a high and it also has its stylings and ruggedization that you'd expect from a work boot. For instance, the canvas on the toe box, the canvas on the lateral and medial side. Um, so that would be my recommendation. If you want something a little bit more, more stylish and versatile into your wardrobe, I would say go with the 993. Uh, because if you see the black midsole, the black outsole, that could mesh very well with black pants, blue pants, and in addition, the comfort for these 993s, astounding. But overall, I want to hear what you guys think in terms of the comparison between both of these two models. Are you a New Balance head and you just absolutely gravitate towards a 993? Or you're a dunk head and you don't even want to think about New Balances? Let me know in the comments down below.